everyone, Mama Reviews here. So today I wanted to talk to you about something that is near and dear to my heart, and that is about vacuum bags. Um, so I don't mean the ones that actually fit in your canisters, if those still exist, but I'm talking about the space-saving ones that uh, you take your vacuum, you suck out all the air of it, and it just kind of saves space. So this has been a small obsession of mine for the last, I'd say, two months. Ever since I decided I wanted to use those uh, vacuum space-saving bags, I kind of went on a hunt because there's so many of them out there, like everything with every product, and I wanted to, of course, find the best one at the best price. So I am happy to report my findings, and I tested... One, two, three, uh, five different bags. Yeah, so I tested five different bags, um, and you're not going to believe the one that came out the winner, and it is the most cost-effective, or I guess if you really want to say it, the cheapest way to do this. So I just wanted to tell you a bit about my journey and how I got here. Uh, basically, I am going through all of Grayson's clothes. My son is 15 months old now, and um, I retire all his other clothing that he's not able to fit in anymore because he's too big. So all his newborn clothes up until about 12 months, um, I have a bunch of clothes, so I was storing in boxes before, and Tupperware boxes are great. They're maybe about $10, $15 each, and I think I needed two or three of them to fit all of his clothes. The only problem with that is um, everything's kind of smooshed together, you can't see everything, it's harder to label and separate things unless you want to do one box for like zero to six months, another box for other sizes. Um, I did do that, and I just I wasn't happy with the way things were working out. And another problem is if you move the box and it falls over by accident, uh, don't ask how, all the clothes that's nicely stacked and folded inside, it falls over with it, and then you have to go through and reorganize and sort it all. Um, you don't have to, but I'm crazy like that, so I would definitely do that. Uh, so I need to find a better way to store everything. I don't remember how I came across these or why I thought it would be a great idea to use them, but then I went on my little hunt. So I actually started off with Amazon and I bought the Whitmore Space Saving Bags. All the reviews on there were highly recommended, blah blah blah, so I decided to go for that. I can't remember the exact pricing, but I think for four bags, I want to say, four or five bags is about 30 to $40. Uh, so, you know, if you're going to use these forever, they're going to last forever, so it's a good investment. But when I actually got the bags, I tested it out, and um, before putting, like, all of the clothing in all of the bags, I tested it out with one bag, and I sucked out all of the air, uh, sealed it up according to the instructions, and I waited for about, I think it was a week and a half. So it worked out really well initially when I sucked everything out. It was tight, it was nicely, like... It was perfect, but after about a week and a half, I noticed that the bag was starting to inflate a bit with air, um, and that was not cool because these are supposed to be completely waterproof, um, dustproof, moldproof, and all that kind of stuff. So I took everything out, shipped it back to Amazon, and decided to get something more locally. So I went to Home Outfitters because there's a 20% off coupon, and the only storage bags that they had were... I think it was something by like storage solutions or main solutions. Um, anyways, the, the seal on them, the little twist thing where you put the vacuum, it's orange. Uh, those were the most horrible ones I've ever seen. So as soon as I sucked out all of the air, they, they worked. And the next day I came downstairs, the bag was completely inflated. So that wasn't even 24 hours. That was literally the next morning. I was so excited to go down. I checked it and yeah air was in it, so that was packed up again and shipped back off to Home Outfitters for a return. So I came across two more, uh, the Ziploc space saving storage bags and there's Mainstay, uh, and those are the Walmart brand. So the Walmart brand is cheaper, the Ziploc ones, there are kind of mixed reviews on all of them. Some saying it did work, some saying it didn't, inflated after a week or two weeks or whatever. Um, so I did a head-to-head -head test on both of them, and I'm proud to announce that both of them work really well. So I still have them, and this is a Ziploc one. So this comes through to a pack, and these are size large. This was $15, and these are the Walmart ones. There are three to a package, and there's two medium and one large, and this was $10. So this was definitely cheaper. Um, the only thing, it has two medium ones, which are too small for all of the clothing that I have. Um, kind of his, I'll show you in a minute, but the zero to six or zero to three months, they're in a large bag. So I really like the large bags, and that's why I got the Ziploc one. There are three large ones in here. Anyways, after all that, um, the fifth and final one that I purchased was from the dollar store, and they were $1.25, and this is what the packaging looks like. Um, has a bag inside, $1.25, and these are size large. 
So with all of these vacuum space saving bags, uh, if you're watching this video then you're probably already familiar with, with what they do, but they basically make everything airtight, watertight, makes organizing easy, reduces wrinkling, uh, they're reusable, and protects against moisture, mildew, mold, odors, and allergens. So the biggest reason why I chose this is because um, even though I freshly washed Grayson's clothing and packed away in the Tupperware, even with the Tupperware lid going on top, um, I found that after several months it started to get that weird musky smell and that was just kind of gross. So if I'm going to reuse them on baby number two, then I'd have to wash them all again anyways and that just that duplicates the amount of effort in trying to store them away. All right, long story short, that was just kind of background, but the actual review is on these dollar store bags and I love them. Like two huge thumbs up because I did a test head to head with the Ziploc ones and the mainstay ones from Walmart. And these are, I think these are just no names. They're just called Space Saver Storage Bags. But uh, went head to head with all three of them. And I left them all for two weeks after I sucked out all of the air with a vacuum. And they still all look the exact same as uh, the first day that I sucked out all the air. Um, the only thing I noticed on the Ziploc ones, those ones had a teensy bit more air in them. They weren't quite as tight as all the rest. So it just goes to show that the big name brands aren't always the best. So if we are comparing cost on the brands, um, let's just say even the most cost effective solution from Walmart. Uh, this was $10 plus tax for three bags. If you want three bags for the dollar store one, it would come to like $4. If we're comparing against the Ziploc ones, which is the sizes that I use, the three large, and they're pretty much the exact same size as the dollar store ones, these are $15 for three, and this again would be $4 for three. So that's a huge savings. Um, I'm a huge fan of the dollar store ones. I'm, I bought a whole bunch and I'm going to put everything in there and yeah, that's just the dollar store ones actually work. Happy to say that the dollar store ones are the ones that I would recommend, the ones that I'm using myself, and they are the most cost effective ones. I just want to quickly say, um, most people are probably wondering, are these bags, or no, that's not the question people are asking. They're wondering, one, do they really work? And two, do they actually save space? So for the spacing part, I'm gonna show you here, but it really depends on what items you're putting into your bags. Uh, so for duvets or things with down and you can compress them, there's so much air in them, those ones definitely save a lot of space. But for things like blankets or fleece, fleece really doesn't compress at all. Um, so when you put in a bunch of children's clothing that's made of fleece or cotton, the compression is very minimal. Alright, so I've got my vacuum bags lined up. I've already sealed them off with the little ziplock for the zipper, I don't know. Um, so even on the dollar store ones, they have this fancy little clip that comes with it. And this just basically helps to close this little seal. So I'm just going to take off the tops on here and I'm going to vacuum it. So you can see the difference in size between space saving with this one, which is a duvet or um, it's got down in it, and then these are just his regular baby clothes. you guys can tell that's actually a pretty significant difference so it just kind of vacuum seals everything together if you're storing it you can pull it up you're not going to have to worry about all the clothes falling out or losing their shape so I absolutely love these so instead of stacking boxes on top you can just kind of file it like little file folders on the side of the wall or something Um, so what I was just saying, you want to watch out for any of these little buttons on the onesies. If it's poking out like this, um, you're actually going to puncture the bag and it's not going to work. So just want to make sure that everything is just kind of fabric here. There's nothing sharp poking out. Don't pull. I want to show you a before and after uh, difference in size. Like I said, clothing doesn't compress that much. So over there is a bag that hasn't been compressed yet. So it's only like an inch and a half. So it's really only an inch and a half taller. So that's kind of my review on that. I know they're always long-winded, but I really wanted to show you the difference between all the different brands. There's five of them that I tried. They are the, all of the, 
Ugh, they are all of the main brands. Um, there's one that I didn't try on Amazon, it was called Honey Can Do, and those were cheaper than the Whitmore ones, but you really can't beat a dollar twenty-five plus tax per bag at the dollar store. So if you guys are on the same journey and trying to find the best space saving bag, instead of having to go out, spend all that time and money and try out the five different brands for yourself, I've done that for you. You're welcome. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to leave it in the down bar below. As always, feel free to private message me, comment, thumbs up if you like this video or if you like the space saving bags, and subscribe to see more random reviews and other mom random videos from me. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. Fun colors. And as you can see, they, how do I do this? They stack. Um, and then each of them has little rain spouts.